All right, 3.5, the last chapter in chapter three, the last section in chapter three, triangles theorems. So today is talking about triangle theorems to find angle measures. It's actually not gonna to be too bad. Uh, the first one is a triangle angle sum theorem. Uh, what that basically states is that the sum of the three angles in a triangle will always, always, always add to 180 degrees. Three angles in a triangle, will always sum to 180 degrees. So if I had an example, let's say I had a triangle like this, let's say this was a 60 degree angle, that was a 90 degree angle. If that was a 60 and a 90 and they asked for this one, well, 60 plus 90 is 150. I'm gonna need 30 more to add up to 180. I could show this algebraically if we like. Let's call that x. We would know that 60 plus 90 plus x would have to equal 180. And we could solve it with algebra if we want. It's 150 plus x have to be 180. Subtract 150 from both sides. x would have to be 30 degrees. All right. So angles, triangles always add up to 180 degrees. There's another theorem called the triangle exterior angle theorem. Um, this one's not as important because we can actually solve it with something else we know. Um, and I'm gonna throw this one out for distance learning because the other thing we know, I noticed people are still kind of struggling with a bit. So we're getting rid of this. And instead we're going to call this the line theorem. Why not? We'll make up our own. And the line theorem says that all, all angles that together form a line will always sum to 180 degrees. Uh, this is one we've talked about before, where we said, like, if this angle here was 120 degrees, and I asked you to find that angle, well, together they form a line, and all lines will add up to 180 degrees, just like triangles. Lines add up to 180 degrees and so do triangles. So for this one, if I knew the one angle is 120, this other one would have to be 60 degrees. I can show that algebraically too if we want, it doesn't really matter if I called this y. I know since together those two angles form a line, 120 plus y is gonna have to equal 180 because all lines add to 180 degrees. Subtract 120 from both sides, y equals 60 degrees. All right, so all triangles add to 180 degrees, all lines add to 180 degrees. Let's uh, give, with that, with that we should be able to find all these. Let's give a shot for a couple of them. All right, this example is asking us to find the values of X, Y, and Z. Well, let's start with X. X is in this triangle right here. And if I look at that, it's got three angles, it's a triangle. It should add up to 180. So I know for sure that if I had that 43 degree angle and I add that 59 degree angle and I add that X degree angle, since those are the three angles in a triangle, that has to add up to 180. You can use a calculator if you like. 43 plus 59 is 102. So 102 plus X equals 180. Subtract 102 from both sides. X is gonna be 78 degrees. All right, let's find Y. Take a look at X and Y together. What do you notice about those two angles? Together, they form a line. So I know X plus Y is gonna to have to be 180 degrees. However, I already found X. X is 78. So that means 78 plus Y. It's gonna to have to be 180. If you subtract 78 from both sides, Y is gonna be 102. Last one. In this triangle, I've got three angles. I know if I add them all together, it's gonna to equal what number? 180. So 
So I know whatever Y is plus whatever Z is plus that 49 degree angle. That's going to have to equal 180 because all triangles will add up to 180 degrees. Luckily, I've already found Y. So instead of placing Y there, I could put 102. Hundred and two plus forty nine. That's one hundred and fifty one. And if you subtract one hundred and fifty one from both sides, Z is going to be twenty nine degrees. Found X first. Then we used that to find Y. And then we used Y to find Z. That's all there is to it. That's what we're doing today. Let's try just a couple more and we'll be done. Uh, this one, asking us to find the measure of angle one. Well, I don't know what one is, but I know these two together should add to 180, right? Because they form a line. So if I can find this one, I'll be able to figure out one. Well, how do you think we're gonna find that one? Those three angles. We're going to have to add to 180. So we could do a little bit of math. I'll, I'll call this x for now, sure. If I had x plus 80 plus 18, I know that's going to have to be 180 altogether. So x plus 98 is 180, right? Combining those two together. Subtract 98 from both sides. x is going to be 82. So that's what this one is. Well, if we find that, now we can find y. Or sorry, now we can find angle one. Because I know these two angles together form a line. So angle one plus x is going to have to be 180, right? Because lines add up to 180. I found x right here. So angle one plus 82 have to be 180. Subtract 82 from both sides. Angle one is gonna equal 98 degrees. Had to do that in a couple of steps. First had to find that one missing angle in the corner and right here. Once I found that, then we could find one. All right. Last step, same type of problem. I've got a triangle here. I wanna find angle two, but to do that, I would need all three of these angles, right? Whatever that one is, let's call it X. I know angle two plus that missing angle X plus 59, since those are in a triangle, that I have to EBE 180. I can't do much with this right now because I don't know X or two. So before I do any more there, I'm gonna to have to go back to my problem and see if I can figure out what this X is. So I look at it and say, all right, well, I don't know what that is, but I know what this one next to it is. That's 124. And I know if I take those two lines together, or those two angles together, those two angles together form a line. So they're gonna to have to add up to 180. So I know 124 plus X is gonna to have to be 180. Subtract 124 from both sides, that's gonna be 56. So I know angle X is 56 degrees. Once I know that, now I can use this other one. Now I can use the fact that triangles add up to 180 and I could say, hey, that angle two plus that angle X, the 56, plus that angle 59, those are the three angles in a triangle. They add to 180. That means angle two plus combine those together. That's 111, nope, 115. 
was 180. Subtract 115 from both sides. Feel free to use a calculator if you want. 180 minus 115, that's 65 degrees. All right, those are the types of problems you're doing. If it seems hard, definitely talk to me. Uh, we're gonna go over a few problems like this during the live session. It should hopefully make it easier. Uh, this one, don't worry about. We're gonna skip this example. Uh, it's not terribly important. Give those problems a try. 9, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18, 20, and 29. I'll see you tomorrow.